and welcome. So in this video, we're going to talk through how we convert between degrees and radians. So in order to do this, we need to rely on something we already know to be true. So we know that one full rotation is 360 degrees or two pi radians. So this means that we know that 360 degrees is equal to two pi. And we're gonna use this true fact to help us convert. So what I'm going to do is to divide by 360 and I'm getting that one is equal to two pi over 360 degrees. Simplifying this, that means that one is equal to pi over 180 degrees. So this says that pi divided by 180 degrees is actually just one. And this is powerful to us because we can multiply by one and get the same result. So we can multiply by one as much as we want and we're not changing the number, we're just changing what it looks like. So let me show you how this would work. Let's say we're starting with degrees, we have some number and it's in degrees. We wanna convert it to radians. So we're needing to cancel out those degrees somehow and get us into radian units. We're going to then multiply by a version of one, which is our pi divided by 180 degrees. Then our degrees will cancel since we have a degrees in the numerator and the denominator, and we're left now with just radians. So I have whatever our number is times pi divided by 180, and that is my radian measure of the angle. We can do this the other way. So instead of doing pi divided by 180 degrees, we're going to do its reciprocal. We're going to do 180 degrees divided by pi. So if we start with radians, we can take that radian amount and multiply it by 180 degrees over pi. This is our version of one. So we're taking the radians, we're gonna cancel them out, and we introduce degrees into our expression so that we can have degrees in our final answer. Remember, we don't usually write the radian units, so it can be a little confusing to not have them written, but feel free to write them if that helps you. So we're starting with radians, and then I have pi radians, and so those radians are canceling out. Then for my final answer, I'm getting whatever my initial value was times 180 degrees divided by pi, and that's my degree amount. So, okay, let's see this with some examples, but just remember, if we're doing from degrees to radians, we're multiplying by pi over 180 degrees. That's to get those degrees to cancel. And then if we're converting from radians to degrees, we're multiplying by 180 degrees divided by pi, and that's to get those radians to cancel. So first, let's practice converting to radians. Let's start with 30 degrees and 225 degrees. So why don't you pause the video and give it a shot and see what you can get. All right, so I'm gonna start with my 30 degrees and I'm trying to convert it to radians. So I'm going to multiply it by pi divided by 180 degrees. Here my degrees will cancel and I'm gonna write this as one fraction. So I have 30 pi over 180. Then I can just simplify this. You could use a calculator, but I like to practice doing this by hand, especially since when we're dealing with radians, we have lots of fractions. And so getting comfortable with fractions is a good idea. I can divide both of these by 10. So I have three pi over 18. Then I'm noticing that 18 is divisible by three, and so I'm getting pi over six as my radian answer. All right, let's try it with 225. If you didn't try this yet, pause and try it out, but I'm gonna go through it. So let's start with our 225 degrees, and I'm going to multiply it by pi over 180 degrees. Then my degrees are canceling, and I'm gonna write this as one fraction. So I have 225 pi over 180, and now I just need to simplify. This simplifying isn't quite as easy as the last one. I noticed that they were both divisible by five and divided by that. So 225 divided by five is 45, and 180 divided by five is 36. And so then I noticed these were both divisible by nine, and so I'm getting five pi over four. 
This is a good example where you might want to use a calculator just to simplify your fraction down, but I like to do it by hand just to practice. And there we go, 5 pi over 4 is our radians. Okay, so let's try this again, but let's go the other direction. Let's convert to degrees. So I'm going to give you 5 pi over 12 and negative 4 pi over 3 as my radian angles. And why don't you go ahead and pause and convert these to degrees. Okay, so for the 5 pi over 12, I'm going to first multiply by 180 degrees over pi. So I'm remembering I'm introducing degrees and I'm setting it up so that my radian units will cancel. This also means that the pi's are going to cancel, which is nice. So my pi's cancel out and now I just have a single fraction. So I'm multiplying across. I have 5 times 180 degrees divided by 12. 5 times 180 is 900. And so I have 900 degrees divided by 12, which is 75 degrees. So again, having a calculator here is going to be really helpful. And there we go, 75 degrees. Let's do this again for negative 4 pi over 3. So I take negative 4 pi over 3 and multiply it by 180 over pi. My pi's will cancel out, as will the radians. And so I'm left with negative 4 times 180 degrees divided by 3. So I did 180 degrees divided by 3 and got 60, so I have negative 4 times 60 degrees, and that's negative 240 degrees. And there we go. That is my degree measure for my negative 4 pi over 3 radians. All right, that is it for this one. This will hopefully help you anytime you need to convert between degrees and radians or vice versa. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.